What's going on guys? I hope you guys are having an awesome day and today we are in Falador Park about to do a boss I should have done in probably the first episode of this PVM series and that is the Giant Mole. The Giant Mole is known for being probably one of the easiest bosses in the game and after much deliberation and putting off the hard Falador diaries I have finally completed them and so I've decided why not get the easiest boss out of the way. If you guys have yet to see my previous two episodes of this pvm series be sure to check them out and if you guys do enjoy this pvm series and want to see more bosses in the future please be sure to leave a like on the video subscribe if you're new to the channel and let me know in the comments section which boss i should try next so guys, first and foremost, to get to the Giant Mole, you will need to teleport to Falador Park. That can easily be done using the Ring of Wealth, which I do have in my inventory. Once you are here, you can use a spade on this mole hill right here, and you will enter the Falador Mole layer. Of course, before you guys do dig, I do suggest you look inside, and it will tell you in the chat how many people are inside the tunnels already, just so you don't accidentally crash someone. In terms of gear guys, I am using a very basic Darox setup, apparently it is the best setup to use outside of the Twisted Bow, and if you guys know me, you guys know that I do not have anywhere close to enough money to buy a Twisted Bow, so I am using Darox. I do have very basic gear, I do not have Prims or a Torture, which I plan on purchasing in the future, but this is relatively a good setup to use. In my inventory, I do have a Locator Orb to decrease my HP to 1, I do have a few Super Combat Potions, a few Stamina potions because I will be running around, 14 prayer potions, a ring of wealth to teleport back here after I bank, a Falador shield 3 which I do recommend you guys get so it tells you where the mole is in the cave so you don't have to run around too much. I do have high alchemy runes in my rune pouch and I do have a spade which you do need to get into the cave. In terms of stats, I do have 91 attack, 99 strength, and 89 defense, but because I will be at 1 HP, I will be using protect from melee and piety the whole time. One thing I do recommend you guys do have as well is the making friends with my arm quest completed. It is a mid-level quest, so it can be a little bit difficult. However, it does allow you to construct the fire of eternal light inside the cave. Once you do that, you do not need to bring a light source, and as you can see, I don't have any light source in my inventory, so it does save you one slot, which you can use for a prayer potion and finally guys in terms of drops, the giant mole actually does not have anything super useful. Other than the consistent mole claw and mole skin drops, it only drops a pet as the only other useful drop, and it only has three collection log slots, the pet, the mole claw, and the mole skin. And so hopefully we can get at least the pet maybe sometime in the future. I don't expect to get it right now, but that would be something for the video. Other than that, it is a pretty consistent 1 mil an hour according to the wiki, so that is pretty good. It is comparable to Vorkath in terms of consistent money, although it doesn't drop anything super expensive. And guys, before I yap any further, let me go find an empty world so we can get this party started. And as you can see guys, there is the Fire of Eternal Light at the entrance, and because I do have the Hard Falador Diaries completed, it does show you an arrow of where the giant mole is, so that's extremely useful. We're gonna go you ahead don't... and reduce our HP all the way down to 1. As you can see, my quick prayers are piety and protect from melee, so that's very good. We're going to go ahead and pray, take a sip of our super combat potion, and attack the giant mole. Oh, that took long enough, didn't it? So, we did get two mole skins and a mole claw, so that's about 25k. Again, the tertiary drops are pretty garbage, so I will not be picking up every single drop. With that being said, guys, I'll see you guys after half an hour for a quick price check, and let's see how many we can get in a one-hour slot. 75 years later.
And guys, after a very cringy final kill of the first half, that marks about 30 minutes done at Giant Mall. Let's do our first price check. So guys, after about 30 minutes at Giant Mall, we've made about 778k in 30 minutes. So about 1.5 mil in revenue per hour is expected here. I believe our kill count was 24 in that 30 minutes, so we're on pace for about 48 or 49 kills. One thing I did learn is that prayer flicking is much better than keeping your piety on because piety does drain your prayer very quickly. I do suggest flicking prayer whenever possible, especially when you're chasing it after he burrows. That being said guys i'm gonna do another 30 minutes hopefully we can hit about 50 kc i'll see you guys for our final price check in 30 minutes And guys, there's the final kill of the one hour. We did get some more mole skins as usual, nothing special. I'm gonna go ahead and do a final price check and see how much we got in one hour. And guys, we did manage to hit 1.5 million GP after one hour of giant mole. As you guys can see, we did start off with a kill count of two, I believe, and we have ended with 52. So we got exactly 50 kills in that one hour. Quick mess! and I did not even have to bank once. I would consider that a very successful trip. Now, keep in mind, guys, I will have to subtract supply costs such as prayer potions. We did use about a dozen of them, a few super combat potions, and a few stamina potions. And then also, I have to subtract the Darox repair costs. So I'm gonna go do all that. Now, and guys, after selling everything off in the Grand Exchange and subtracting out all our supply costs and the repair costs for Darox, which surprisingly was only 15k for one hour at Giant Mole, which I would say is extremely nice, our final profit after all costs sits at 1,231,000 GP with my current gear and stats. Guys, I think there's definitely room for improvement in terms of gear. I could upgrade to the torture in the future. Maybe get some ferocious gloves to add some accuracy. However, that's definitely not mandatory and you guys can do it with extremely basic Darox gear like I have right now. And yeah, guys, that does bring us to the end of this video. If you guys did enjoy this PVM video and want to see more in the future, please be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And guys, this is not the end of our giant mole journey. I do have some special video planned out a few videos from now with another YouTube content creator so hopefully you guys will enjoy that one. I won't give any spoilers at the moment but I hope you guys did enjoy this one and I'll see you guys for the next video. Take care and peace.